went to my lab and I changed what I was doing. I refocused my research. But that's amazing because I don't think you could be faulted for saying, wait a minute, they have a normal TSH. They have normal free T3, free T4. All their biometric stuff is normal. There could be many reasons why they're having a hard time focusing. What gave you the confidence to drop what you were doing and go and pursue that? I mean, that's a bold step. Well, they both were, that both was triggered by hypothyroidism. They were functioning perfectly normal before they had hypothyroidism. And one of them had surgery. She said, the day I had surgery, I left the hospital taking levothyroxine. I could not, my brain oh, did I not see, work anymore. Oh, I see, I see. So there was a fundamental change Absolutely. in her. Absolutely. Okay, got it, got it. So they both had this change. I so see. the only thing that changed- Was they both but, had their thyroids and removed, they were, right, but and it they, wasn't being replaced They correctly. were either well, otherwise healthy, yep. young, uh, you know, middle-aged women. So really- uh, for me, I, what you described with your mentor, exactly the same thing happened. I refocused my research, uh, you know, carefully because I knew I was going into an, a controversial area and uh, trying to understand what was happening with those patients. Going back to hypothyroidism, um, just from a semantic perspective, autoimmune thyroiditis involves anything that is hyperthyroid or can that be hypo as well? Does the does the term so Hashimoto's is an autoimmune hypothyroid? The Hashimoto's is the prototypical hypothyroid. 